Welcome back you guys. We're gonna check out some Turok right now and it's super super awesome. I just downloaded it on Steam for five bucks. It's normally twenty dollars so if you're a Turok fan you definitely can't go wrong. I also want to bring up the image settings because I know some of you guys have been watching these videos and asking about the image settings and what mine are. Well there's only two different settings that I change in the game and it changes with every game I play. So if you're following along with me and you want to change your settings, you just hit delete and then you go into the image settings tab under the Vorpex menu. The only two things I change is aspect ratio correction, I put that on the letterbox 2, 1, maybe pixel 1, and the image zoom. That's it. Those are the only two things that I play with. Sometimes I turn off the crystal light which is on another uh, option, another uh, op menu screen, but that's basically pretty much it. The other thing I want to mention is it makes it a lot easier if you have one of these controllers. That way if you can't look all the way, you can kind of correct yourself on the controller. For example, if I can't look anymore, I can kind of correct that a little bit. So that helps a lot with uh, moving around in the world. This game actually works, I think, better than any game that I've played so far, as far as delivering a 3D visuals. It's just, I, some of you guys are saying is a true 3D, like Mirror's Edge and some of the other games, it's even more 3D than this, but I don't know. I think even the 2D feels 3D to me. This is really awesome. I've played it for a little bit over an hour, and I had to pull myself away from it last night just because I had some other stuff to do, and then noticed I had to record the uh, footage again because the, it just sounded funny in the audio. But it runs like a champ. There's a level editor. Uh, normally it's 20 bucks, and it's only $5 right now. If you want that uh, you know, retro game, retro shooter, this is tons and tons of fun. Wow, did you see that? This is actually, in my opinion, also better than Serious Sam. It's, dude, I had one of the guys from the channel, what a gracious bro, bought me one of those games, and it's just a giant pile of shit. There's going to be a dual review on both of those, but wow, I've never, what a piece of shit. It's not even the nostalgia thing, like, they're, he was saying, like, oh, it's about nostalgia. I'm like, well, I can understand this. Like, look at that. Remember, when was the last time you saw that? Oh, the 90s, right? That was so good. Or is that the early 2000s? I can't remember now. But this works really well in Vorpex. It's just a lot of fun. Uh, is Vorpex buggy? Yeah, man, it's totally buggy. It's not perfect. People are having problems. If you're having problems, don't come over to me. Um, I really don't know what to tell you. Uh, go over to Vorpex forums. The guy that's doing this, man, he's he's Johnny on it. He responds to like 75% or more of the posts that I see put on his uh, tech support page, and he's also on Reddit a lot. So the guy is super, super trying, and I think this is awesome. If you told me that you tried this with a gamepad and you didn't like it, I'd have a hard time believing you. This is just works really, really well. And I would like to see more games like this. I couldn't imagine how cool it would be to get motion controls in this and play it like Doom. That would just be off the hook crazy. So anyways, you guys, I just wanted to take a minute here to show you how cool this is. And that it definitely works in Vortex very, very, very well. So again, if you missed the image settings, I'm going to move out here. I'm not looking at the screen anymore. The image settings are set on image zoom. I'm at 0.66%. And or not 0 0.6, 0 0.66, and then I'm on aspect letter box two. That's it. Hope you enjoy, guys.